Okay, so... Because I give two shits, apparently, about my life right now. I wanted to do something because I've always been fascinated by this and I thought, oh, that was a bit close. I thought, why not do it now more than ever? So, today I have the Ancestry DNA kit. So I bought this with my own money because I was like, you know what? Stuff it. I've been fascinated by this ever since I first heard about it. And I'm going to sound like a little two-year-old kid, but my parents didn't want me to get it. My parents were like, there's no point in you getting it. It's, you know... What's the point in getting it? You know that you're white and that's all that matters and you are who you are. I say no. I say it's fascinating to know more than just the colour I look like. I want to know what I'm made up of. So I got the Ancestry DNA kit instead of the 23andMe. So, this is what it looks like. It's a nice white box with like the green on it. So I'm going to open it up. So it looks like this. So as you can see, it says Ancestry DNA. Welcome to Ancestry DNA. Activate your kit online and then gather DNA. So we just take off that part. We have the like components in here. So we have the bag to put it into when done. We have the tube itself, ooh, which looks quite interesting. I'll get out the frame. That's what it looks like. And it has, you know, a bunch of stuff on the front. We also have a little box to put it into when done. Which is actually a smart idea. Okay, so everything's out of the kit now, as you can see. So let's read up on it for a little bit. So it's very simple. Like, it's a very simple little thing. It says, do not skip this step. You cannot get the results unless you activate the test. So go to Ancestry DNA, enter the 15 digit code, um, and then it says, do not eat, drink, smoke, or chew gum for 30 minutes before your saliva sample. This is going to sound ultra weird, but I feel like I'm going to be able to fill up the tube quite well because I actually saliva, salivate, that's the word, I feel like a bit more than normal people. I don't know. So it says here, fill the tube with saliva to the back black wavy line, which is, if you can see, right there. That wait, little wavy line right there. Um, not including bubbles it is or or just above the wavy line. It's easy. It's less than a quarter of a tablespoon. Do not overfill. That's in bold and underlined. Oh. And then it says, replace the funnel with the cap. Remove the funnel with the tube. Screw on the enclosed cap tightly to release the solution. This will enable the DNA in your saliva. Then tighten it. So I'm just going to read this little one here. So we'll do that first. So first off is gathering my DNA. I want to get this love, love. I want the real love. Sorry, DNA. DNA by BTS. Okay. So I got out the little tube. As you can see here, that's my code. And so it says, uh, right there it says, spit to here which is a little wavy line so I'm now going to spit on camera until I get to the wavy line which is actually a fair bit when you really see anything but it's this much saliva so I <laughs> just spat on my face so we're just going to do a time lapse of this and then we'll get there fun now that all the spitting is done as you can see right about here So it is, so we got a little bit of bubble, but it's like that, so I didn't want to go over the line as it told me to not do. So it says, replace the funnel with the cap, which is this right here, this is the cap with the solution in it, as I will show you, so the blue thing is the solution, so it says, Remove the funnel from the tube. So, done. So, we put that to the side. Screw the enclosed cap. So, this is this way. Tightly to release the solution. So, I need three hands. Okay, I'm going to do it like this. Okay, let's be in focus at least. There we go.
There, oh. Okay, do I think that worked? Yeah, a lot of it Um, Titan to release stabilized fluid. You know where it works for the blue solution from the cap is emptied into the tube. So we're gonna keep going. Is that right? It's, I mean, it's pretty tight, but it's not. Come. Oh, all the way through. Oh, there we go. I just need one more. Ugh, twist. Like so. So you can see the blue there. So next one's up, your test will be completed in 16 weeks, so you guys will have a bit of a jump from there. So, so shake the tube for at least 5 seconds is to ensure the sample mixes through with a stabilizing solution, so our lab can do the best results. So we're going to shake, one, two, oops, I've been kind of, one, two, three, four, five, six, I'm going to do ten seconds, seven, eight, nine, ten. So now you can sort of see the color right there. So it's in, it's there. Next it says place, place it in the bag. Place the tube in the bag, in the collection bag. So place the sample in your collection bag, provide it in your DNA kit, which is this one here. Um, and then mail in your sample. So, hello. I'm gonna put it in here, and it has little instructions on here as well. So it says insert the capped tube into the bag, seal it, and return it to the mail. So, my biggest struggle yet, opening a bag. Oh, wow, I'm dumb. I thought this was to open it. It's down here. I'm just so smart. So we put it in like so. Um, I'm going to move that over a little bit so it's easier to see when I activate it. So I'm now going to peel off the sticky part here and seal it. And as I do when I seal everything, give it a little kiss. And my DNA is going to be put into this box now. And now it's in the box and it's going to be shipped away. So now I have to wait six to eight weeks for it to come back to me via email and then I will get the results in. So I'm interested to see. And yeah, I am, you guys will get a, a bit of a, just a cut to the next scene. I have to wait six to eight weeks. So fun for me. So yeah, I will see you guys then. One eternity later. G'day guys! Wow, why am I doing this intro? I don't need to, because for you guys, it's the next clip, where for me, it's been a whole month. So hi, it has been a whole month since I filmed the first part of this. We are now going to see what my DNA origins are. I am super duper excited. I haven't looked at it yet, I've literally just opened it up. So we're going to look in three. I'm going to close my eyes actually. I know it's up here. Okay, I'm over. Three, two, one. Okay, I'm going to look in three, two. Okay, before I look... Okay, we're back in the new tab. I just wanted to quickly elaborate something. Obviously, you guys have seen it. I didn't. Um, so, from what I know, I have English in me, Maltese, possibly some Scottish slash Irish. I'm not sure about that. And that's about it. That's all I know. I don't know anything else. From what I know, most of my mum's side of the family was born in Malta. Hello, my Maltese family in Hobart Kafna. My father's side. I know it's predominantly English with possibly a Scottish or Irish person and I'm not sure about that. So I'm excited to see what my mix is and to see what I've got. Okay. Sorry. And without further ado, let me have a look. Okay. So this is my DNA. Okay, this is so weird. Okay. So, go, go away. So I'm 48% English, Wales, Northern West European. Okay. That's weird. 26% Italian, which is Sicilian, which is Maltese. I got that. 20% Irish slash Scottish, 2% Turkey, 2% France, and 2% Spanish. I want to see what other regions I tested for. This is so weird. I'm sorry. I wasn't expecting any of this. Whoa. You are linked only to the regions that appear in your... Okay, so there's a lot of regions. I, I'm born and raised in Australia, but this is weird. No, this is weird. 
So predominantly in here, which is interesting, because I don't know anyone from here. I knew it was going to be mainly, yeah, Wales, England. This is bizarre. Okay. Oh, hit the wrong one. With rich deposits of coal, ugh, coal and iron ores, Wales uh, become the backbone of the Industrial Revolution. This is weird. So in 1750, wait, what? I was mainly New Zealand. Uh, oh yeah, Italy. So I was mainly Malta, which is just here, which is under Italy, which makes sense. In the 1800s, I guess that's when my like English part of me started. I know that my father's side is in Lye, which is near, I believe it's London. But that's interesting. Yes, I know I'm more here-ish. Let me see if I can find it. Probably not. I'm not sure exactly where it is. I just know Lye, L-Y-E, and I'm pretty sure it's in the London area. That's so weird. Okay, so 1825. This is when we went to America and we moved to Australia. 1850 was more America spreading off into other parts of Italy. Wait, what? Unfortunately, the government kind of claims to be the Mafia. I was not part of the Mafia. <laughs> I'm telling you that now. So Sicily, yeah, that's um, Italy. So my family, I know, is from Malta, which is here. Most of us are in Valletta or... Yeah, most of us are in Valletta. That's so fascinating. Okay. So what about 1875? It's interesting that we a lot of America's popping up. We got a lot of New Jersey, New York's a main one, Philadelphia. This is so bizarre. Cause I, I don't expect any of this. The nineteen hundreds, a lot in America, nineteen twenty five, America. But I that's what I mainly am. That's so weird. It is weird. What? <laughs> I'm sorry, this is just... Like, obviously, this is just showing I'm 100% white. But, like, I'm more than white. Like, there's a variety of white, which... This is all sounding stupid to, like, 90% of you, but... Your results reflect the most recent study DNA ethical estimate. This is so bizarre. Because, like, I never thought I would have, like, Turkey, or Cyprus, or, you know, Iraq in me. Like, this is weird, like... I am, what am I, what was that, 2%? 2%? Like, I thought it'd be mainly just English and Italian. This is weird. I like it, it's weird. I should get my dad to have a look at... Dad, this wow, is all okay. places, right? Like, so I'm 48% English, 26% Italian, Italian, which I'm assuming is Maltese, even though yeah, it does yeah. have Malta on here, if you zoom in. See, Malta? Yeah, which is Italian. But look, 20% Irish and Scottish. Yeah, that's from my third uh, thing. But look, 2% Turkey, so this is 2% mm. of me, 2% of French.